Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's webinar. Today's webinar is on the topic parametric and non-parametric test. Now, today's topic is of utmost importance and today we'll somehow deviate to a little bit of mathematical portions, but I swear you will not get complicated. I will not try to complicate my webinar. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Even though if you're not uh, a math aspirant, you will still try, you can still understand it. Just have a little bit of um, um, interest as well as a little bit of um, confidence that you can gather the, gather what has been said in today's webinar. So of late, we are starting. So what do you mean by a parametric test? Now in research methodology, while doing um, research, you will come across a stage where you have, where you have got your data and then you have to analyze the data. Now for analysis purposes, you might require different types of tests. Now, which test to use where is a confusion. Now, at that point of time, you have in front of you two types of test. That is, one is parametric and the other one is non-parametric. Now, what do you mean by parametric test? Now, if you're doing a research where you have the information of the population and you have the data of this particular population, then you can use what is known as parametric test. So I would rather uh, state it like this. If the information about the population is completely known by means of its parameters, then statistical test is called parametric test. And there are different types of parametric test. Now, there are a huge number of them, more than 50s and 60s. So even uh, in modern digital world, there are a lot of tests that is coming up. Now, uh, the very common statistical test, parametric statistical tests are t-test, f-test, z-test and ANOVA. Now uh, to make it much more simpler, let me take a research example. Uh, let me take the example like average age of students in our college or in your college who are pursuing post-graduation courses. Now take this particular example. You can understand that here in this particular scenario, uh, you can get the details of the population because the population here is students of our college. Now, entire nominal role of the students will be available in the uh, office. So the mean age, the average age of, this, of the students in our college can be understood if you take the entire data, entire age of all the students, if you have 500 students, if you have 1000 students, you can get the data from the office. So this is an example for a scenario where the population is completely known. So the test that can be used here is the parametric test. Now there can be some scenarios where you do not have the data of the population. Now at, uh, for examples, uh, you can take the example like average weight of people who are going for morning walk in Cochin City. This is a little confusing because uh, you don't know who is going for morning walk in Cochin. So the population is not defined or rather you do not know what is the number of people who is going for morning walk in Cochin city. So in this scenario, what happens is uh, you still have to do the, pop uh, do the test. So in this case, you do something known as known parametric test. Now, I'll state it like this, if there is no knowledge about the population or parameters, but still it is required to test the hypothesis of the population, then it is called non-parametric test. Now, the different types of test that is used in non-parametric test are Mann-Whitney, rank sum test and kruskal wallis test. Now, there are n number of them that follows, but these are the very most common tests that is being used. Now, one more example for um, non-parametric test scenario, research scenario could be something like the average salary of people who are using transport bus service in Kerala. Now it, it's, it's um, again, you, you, cannot, uh, you cannot tell who, how many people is using transport bus in Kerala and who are they. You cannot take the number of them. It's, it's very difficult. Now in these scenarios, you use a test that is known as non-parametric test. Now uh, to make it much simple, we can say that if, uh, if the types, if there are two types, the types, there are two types of tests, parametric and non-parametric. Now, 
uh, in previous my, of my webinars, I had explained about the scales, the, the basic scales that is be used in statistical tests, that is uh, nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Now, if it is a nominal data or an ordinal data, then you can use non-parametric test. And on the contrary, if it is a ratio or an interval scale, you use parametric test. Now, now what are the basic difference between parametric and non-parametric test? Now, I had already explained the, the prima facie thing to, to check is if the information about the population is completely known. If the info information is completely known, it is parametric. If the information is not available, it is non-parametric. Now, parametric specific assumptions are made regarding the population. Now, since um, in, in it is given, the data is given, you can uh, make assumptions. Now, in non-parametric, no assumptions are made regarding the population. Now, in parametric tests, null hypothesis is made on the parameters of the population distribution test. But in non-parametric, null hypothesis free from parameters. You do not, do not associate null as hypothesis with parameters. Now, in parametric, no parametric test exists for nominal. See, uh, in parametric, we cannot do tests for nominal scales. But in non-parametric, you have test statistics. You, you can do for nominal as well as ordinal data. In, we already said that parametric is for uh, ratio as well as interval scales. Statistic. In parametric, statistics is based on the distribution. Uh, now, in non-parametric, it is not so powerful. It is not based on the distribution. Now, parametric is, para, is powerful uh, if it is existing. Now, if, if, if you can associate something uh, at the particular uh, test with uh, can do use this particular parametric test then it becomes a very powerful tool but non-parametric tests are not very powerful the results that comes out um, may not be as powerful as the parametric results now what is the advantage of non-parametric test now the non-parametric tests are simple it's easy to understand and comprehend it will not involve complicacy in sampling now no assumptions is made regarding the parent population and this method is only available for nominal scale as well as a little bit of ordinal scale data. But advantages of parametric test is like it can be applied for interval and ratio scales. Now these are the most commonly used and it is much more powerful, much more accurate and you can really rely on the, uh, on the results that is derived out of parametric test. So for any problem, if any parametric test exists, it is highly powerful. Now uh, just to give you a small brief, like there are many parametric and non-parametric tests. I'm not trying to explain how to do these tests, but I would rather categorize like parametric tests can be paired t-test, unpaired t-test, peers in correlation, one-way one way ANOVA, all these are parametric. Uh, non-parametric test can be Wilcoxon, Ransom test, Mann-Whitney U test, Pearman correlation and kruskal wallace test are already explained. Now. To end with, I would rather say like this, the parametric or non-parametric determination can be done using the type of data with you. Now, if you have a categorical data, now you have a nominal data, uh, you can use non-parametric test. Now, if your data is uh, metric or rather if it is uh, interval or ratio scales, you have to first of all ask a question like, are the data approximately nominally, normally distributed? Now, what do you mean by normal distribution? Now, normal distribution is a probability distribution that the symmetry about the mean showing that data near the mean are more frequent in occurrence than the data far from the mean. Now, this is a little bit of statistical, so I'm not trying to explain more what is nominal distribution. But if your data is normally distributed, then uh, if it is yes, then are the variance of populations equal? That is the next question to be asked. If it is yes, use parametric test. If it is no, use non-parametric test. At the same time, if the data approximately normally distributed, if it is not normally distributed, then you go for non-parametric test. So on a very basic note, I would rather say this is what is to be understood when it comes to parametric and non-parametric test. So in today's webinar, we were discussing about parametric as well as known parametric test. If the information of the population is completely known, then we use the statistical test called parametric. And if it is 
if the population or population of the parameters are is unknown, you have no knowledge, then we use non-parametric test. Now, this is just a sneak peek. As a tip of an iceberg, there are a lot to be delved to delve deep into this particular statistical area. So I hope I just gave a, a, a small sneak peek into this. So I hope you can get and climb more heights from this particular webinar. So thanks for watching. This is Jitin Benedict.